Hi there! In this demo, we will have a look at how we can protect your applications using the CryptLens platform. We will primarily focus on licensing, although we will have a quick look at the analytics dashboard and how you can process payments. So let's imagine that you have developed a new desktop application. Of course, this can be any type of application. The first thing you'd like to do is to create a new product. So you can think of a product as a way of representing your application. So each application is linked to a product. So when you develop a new application, you'll just have to create a new product in the system. Let's have a look at an existing product. As you can see, each product contains a list of license keys. And these license keys will have to be delivered to your customers so that they will be able to unlock uh, various types of functionality. Of course, uh, once you set this uh, entire system up, it will be automatic and uh, you'll probably not have to, or most cases, will not have to send these keys manually. So, but in the cases where you have to, you just uh, go to this create new key uh, wizard and here you can specify what kind of features a certain license should have and uh, customers and how long it should be valid and so on. So let's go back. Um, the first step to get started with uh, the CryptLens platform is to visit our help pages. I already have them open here. So here we've listed basically the, uh, so the first thing is probably to look at the CryptLens basics guide, which goes through all the important concepts and then uh, if you are developing in uh, C-sharp or Visual Basic, then I recommend to go through the get, Getting Started Guide. This will help you to create a new account, uh, set up new products, adding some code, and so on. Uh, of course, there is some support for C++ as well, which you can find uh, under the Client API section. However, I'll go straight to the examples uh, section in the documentation. And here you can see step-by-step -step examples of uh, with, with code that you can just copy and paste into your application. So essentially, uh, the only code you need to have in your application is the key verification code for, for a basic setup. So here you have um, some examples in C-sharp and wishelbasic.net. Once you've uh, specified all these um, uh, variables with, um, with your specific ones, there are uh, that you can find on the links above, uh, you'll be able to get some, or you'll get some code uh, or something similar to what I have here. So I've just copy and paste the, whole, the code for C Sharp and uh, added some things that we will look at later. So then the idea is, so let's say your customer has received this license key. Then they would have to enter it into your application. And then once we run the application, we'll see that this is a time limited license and it's valid for 29 days and it's valid. And this is also something that you can see in the, in the dashboard that it has, uh, if you click on the license key here, you can see that it has 30, uh, 29 days left. So it was set up with 30 days and now it has uh, 29 days, days left. Of course, if you'd like to extend, um, uh, so imagine, let's say that this is a trial key and you'd like to extend that key, you just enter 10, okay, yeah, let's close this. Uh, let's recompile the application again. <clears throat> and as you can see, we have 10 more days that the customer can use this, uh, this software. So that was it. And of course, there are plenty of other examples that you can have a look at. So for example, uh, some tutorials about offline verification uh, where uh, the application doesn't have uh, access to the internet uh, or uh, where this access is limited. But that you can find in the, uh, in the examples section. So that's it. So this is really the licensing bit of the, of the, of the platform. Let's have a quick look at uh, payments. So payment forms can be found here. So you click on forms and then payment forms. Uh, I've already created a payment form here and uh, I've set it up in such a way that when the customer 
when, or upon a successful transaction, we will add a new feature to this license. Uh, so we could actually, uh, as you can see in the C sharp code, it's quite easy to um, encode various types of licensing uh, requirements. Uh, so for example, let's say that feature three gives them uh, the ultimate version of the software, like all the features. So I could just type if uh, result dot license key dot has feature three, uh, then So as you can see, they launched the program and uh, they can't really see this yet. But let's go to the payment form and let's um, copy this key. So essentially what you have to do in your application is that you have to send them to this payment form uh, and you need to provide the license key that you like to upgrade. So. This is just a Stripe testing environment, so we can just use some testing card. Uh, just provide some email address, like this. And just observe that the feature three is still disabled, and that's why we couldn't really see anything here in, in, the, in, in the code. Let's confirm this payment. The transaction is successful, so we'll go back to the dashboard uh, and let's refresh. And as you can see, feature three is now enabled. And uh, if we launch the application again, you can see that we see this new text field or a new message here. You have all the features. So now suddenly, the customer has um, uh, paid for these additional features and they can now access those features instantly once they either reboot the application or maybe if you have uh, if you do periodic checks then they would be able to receive those uh, upgrades quite quickly so just to sum up what we've looked at right now is uh, the licensing part of the, of, of the platform and the only thing it requires is that you create a new product which is then of course your uh, your application so in this case this um, product is linked to uh, my sample application here and then you have to provide your customers with this license key. Either you create a new license key uh, in this dashboard and then send it to them by mail or so. And uh, the second option is of course that you use our payment forms and uh, provide them with this uh, license key automatically if the transaction is uh, successful. So now let's have a look at the analytics dashboard. So the analytics dashboard um, is a way for you to understand where your customers are coming from. So now I don't really have that many um, customers, but in, in, once you start to uh, sell your uh, uh, application uh, with, uh, to many different countries, you'll be able to see that you'll have um, uh, various different countries will have, um, you'll have some data for each country. Now, since this is a demo account, we just have uh, uh, one country here. And uh, uh, it's quite interesting because you can actually then zoom in into various, you can check how your how requ request to uh, essentially verification request, key verification request ver by time. And uh, as well as see how, much, how many keys are being cr created. You can also see when your uh, customers are using the application and this is actually this considers their local time so if you have uh, if you're in Europe and you have uh, uh, customers in the states you'll be able to this will or this uh, analytics dashboard will take that into account and uh, uh, give you an aggregated view of when your customers are using the applica uh, your application you can also see a quick summary of how many keys are being created and how many requests have been made 
for a specific time period. So you can, of course, uh, select last 30 days or, or uh, last seven days, last 24 hours, and so on. Then we have this key list, and the, uh, so license key list, and here you can see which of the licenses are have the most of the requests. And then this can also be linked to customers. So you can see, so essentially uh, each customer, uh, we forgot to talk about that, but each customer uh, can have, um, let's have a look at this customer instead, a set of licenses. And, um, and then what this um, panel pr provides you with is a way for you to tell which of your customers are the most active ones and which ones are most inactive ones. And in that case, uh, I mean, this is kind of like very useful if you like to, uh, if you see that some of them are inactive, you might want to contact them, ask them how they're doing and so on. Um, so one more thing, let's have a look at these filters before we finish our uh, overview of the analytics dashboard. So essentially filters work, uh, they, they're essentially there are three different kinds of filters. You have the keys, you can, license keys that you can filter on customers and countries. And um, for example, if you select Sweden, it will pop up here and you can of course select any other country. And then you click filter and then you'll be able to filter out uh, or just filter on those uh, countries. And if you click again on the filter, then this filter is disabled. Of course, you can also click on a specific license key and filter, and then you'll just see a request for that particular license key. The same thing can be done for customers. Uh, and uh, this can give you very interesting insights into how your application is being used. And then of course, uh, as we said earlier, it will allow you to be able to provide your customers better support. So that was a quick demo of uh, the CryptLens platform. I think the, the best and or like the easiest way to get started is to uh, go to the help pages. Since here we've listed most of the, uh, or all the articles that you need to get started, including various types of various types of licensing models, how you can set up payment forms, uh, some client APIs. Uh, so just to point, uh, to add to C Sharp Mutual Basic, we also have uh, C++ uh, if that, is, that would be required. And then uh, uh, various types of uh, compliance advice, especially if you are uh, in order to ensure that you are, uh, for example, GDPR compliant and compliant with other, other types of uh, regulations. Uh, so I think that was it. Uh, I recommend you to use the chat box that is available on each page uh, or, or on every page that you visit, uh, should you have any questions. Thank you very much. Have a good day.